Stick with me and we'll figure out how the heck to stop making that snowblower rev. Snow season will be on us soon enough and I filmed this last year trying to fix a snowblower that uh, we got as a gift. It was a used snowblower, but I want to spoil it right now. The problem was the carburetor, <clears throat> but I went through all these other steps to try to fix this thing and, and was unsuccessful. <laughs> but I recorded my journey of failure if you want to watch it. And uh, I do give some good tips on how to take care of a snowblower, hopefully for you guys that uh, maybe are moved to an area with snow and you don't know how to do it so hopefully you learn a little bit uh ultimately though i failed in the snowblower one enjoy this journey so i inherited a snowblower and i'm very grateful for it it's a nice snowblower but it is about uh somewhere between 10 and 15 years old and the oil the gas and uh the spark plugs I, they, they haven't really been maintained so when I start this thing, it revs and revs and revs. And now I've never owned a snowblower. This is brand new to me. Some of you old hacks watching this will be like, oh yeah, this is simple, of course. But if you're like me, where you know, you're new to this, uh, hopefully this video will help you out. So what's going on is this thing is only throwing at like half power. It goes in the cycle. It's going rare, rare, rare. I'm going to start it up and let you listen to it. Even when I have the choke fully open, it'll be okay. But as soon as I start turning the choke all the way down, it'll start revving. Um, I don't think you can just run it with the choke open. I'm pretty sure it'll kill the, the motor eventually. So I'm going to let you listen to it so you can get an idea what I'm talking about. So here we go. Uh, so this is a Craftsman. And, oh, by the way, there's the new ambulance. Take a good look at her there in all her glory. And this is a new Craftsman, and we're going to figure this out here. So what I'm going to do here is I am going to just use the plug because I don't feel like pulling it in the cold weather. I'm going to turn the choke all the way up and the speed all the way up. Okay, so there you go, and the key's in. So let's hit the button, and here we go. So I didn't hold it. You can see it's blowing out some black <clears throat> gunk out of here. Uh, it does that every time. I think it's probably because of the old oil or maybe it just does it every time. I don't know. I've never owned a snowblower. So we are going to try it again. It sometimes takes a few times to get it rolling. Uh, chokes all the way up. So let's do it again. And then I'll start to turn the choke down and you'll hear the revving. Well, maybe. Oh, geez. Hold on. I'm going to prime this three times. Let's try it now. Oh, all right, here we go again. One, two. Turn the choke just down here. All right, we'll put the choke all the way back up. Hmm. Mystery. Why isn't it starting now? Let me let the gas sit a little bit. Uh, again, first time I've ever owned a snowblower. This is a new experience. So, of course, it came with no instructions. I've watched some stuff on YouTube to figure it out. I'm going... The game plan is... I'm going to change the spark plug first. I've already added something called dry gas to the gas because it's old. Um, and I even added a little extra new gas to mix it in. But I might have to just completely drain it. I, I've been trying to avoid it. Um, and if I have to, I'll dump the oil today. So let's see what's going on. Here we go. Everything's on up full. Give it one little squirt. Oh, come on, man. All right. Let me see what's going on. I'm going to cut this off for a sec. Well, this might be the problem. So here's the spark plug. And it is black, black, black. 
but I have seen worse. So maybe it still can run, but not very well. I think it's probably, I'm just going to replace it anyway. There we go. Oh, and here's a bonus. There's Cool Cat. Y'all can watch him eat. He's in his glory. Damn it. So, I forgot to show you, this is how you get a spark plug out. You just, it's just a real deep socket like this. You can have, sometimes have to buy a special socket to pull it out. It just comes right out. The thing is, is I forgot I need to warm the oil up in order to get it to drain. So I have to go put this thing back in and let it run for a little bit. So we're going to do that. Alright, Cool Cat, you ready to help me? Alright, for you guys that are not spark plug experts, one of these does not look like the other. This is a sad spark plug. Unhappy. This is a happy one. Look, it's all shiny. Bad. Good. Okay, so you can really hear it revving now as I heat it up. Come listen. In case any of you guys are wondering, this is my Narnia style ice sword. Check out this icicle. <laughs> it's pretty badass, I have to say. Chop, chop. Chop, chop, chop. Arr. Let me get a mean face. Ice sword. So I have never changed oil on a uh, snowblower, but I think it is that pipe sticking out right there. Tracked it back, I'm pretty sure. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tilt this up in the front with that board and drain this out. Hopefully it works. And you'll use two wrenches. One will grab the pipe and the other will spin the cap. You don't want to yank the whole... Uh, you want to use two wrenches so uh, sometimes these things are really rusted on the threads right there, I'm told. So let's find out. So I changed my mind and I just parked it on a hill so it would drain. And look how black this oil is. That is probably the problem. Black, black, black. Still dripping. I'm going to show you a little trick I learned back in auto mechanics. This is what you put in the, uh, uh, I guess it's 530 weight. 530. Um, you can put a little fresh oil in while that's open. And it will get one last purge of uh, the dirty, dirty oil. So let me show you what that looks like if I can. I'm not sure if I'm corded enough to do this, but I'm going to pour just a little in. And then we're going to race down here to see it come out. That's probably enough. And then give it a little bit to work through. And you see it coming out, and it's getting all the rest of that black junk. Sometimes you got to put a good chunk of oil in here, but you're trying to get it to run clear. That is black, black, black still. So we are going to do a little more. I hate to waste oil, but it is a really fast way to help clean and purge that. Here's a second go. Wow, still black. Dang, this is dirty. Oh, it's getting a little grayer. There it goes. It's starting to get clearer. I might even do a third pass here. See it against the white, you can kind of get an idea. It's, it's getting clear now. If I can get it in focus. Now we're looking like oil and not black sludge. Black sludge. Okay, I put one more dose in just to be sure. And now, you see how much clear it is? I don't know if you can see it. I'll try to zoom in here. You see how it's not black anymore? That's what you're looking for. Yeah, it wastes a little oil. Not much. I just put a few capfuls in. So, I think we're good now. Let's, uh, let's fill it up and give it a test start. And we'll see if it's the bad plug or the oil. One other quick thing I'm going to do is I am going to lube the, uh, the screw because there's so much salty snow I'm blowing through. And you see how it's rusting? So I'm going to 
Just take care of that while it's open. Yeah, it's hard to get a good zoom on that. You guys see that? So, yeah, while you got it open, why not? Blast it a little WD-40. I've been complaining a good bit about this on YouTube in, in an afterglow. And Long Hair Hello said, you got to use seafoam. That'll blow that stuff clean. That's what they do in Canada. So I'm going to add some of this. And apparently you could add this to the oil and the fuel. And it cleans it. So it says I got to uh, put it into 16 quarts. Uh, so use one ounce per quart. What the hell is a quart? I got to do some calculations and figure out what a pint is to a quart. I'll be right back. Okay, so I've done some basic math. And apparently, for you guys who didn't know, there is two pints in a quart. So I have one and a little pint left here. You're supposed to put this whole thing into a quart, which means I need to use a little more than half a bottle of this in the oil. So I'm gonna do that and it should hopefully blow out the rest of whatever gunk's in there. Okay, so I put this back on level ground before I full, uh, put the oil in so I don't get a, a weird reading. So remember to do that. Uh, now it's all capped off. So here we go. Well, I'm really glad I reread this before I put it in because apparently my dyslexia got me. It says to use one ounce per quart in the oil. So I only put one quart in, a little over one quart. So I have to put one ounce of this in and I have no idea how much an ounce is. Um, this is 16 fluid ounces, so 1 16th. How the hell am I gonna figure this out? All right, for us non-Canadians, um, here's what's up. So you have to use one ounce per quart. This thing is two pints, which equals a quart. All right, there you go. So if I had a full one of these, I would use an entire shot glass. I believe that is a liquid ounce. Um, so I'm going to put a half a shot glass in this because that's all I have right now. And I'll probably have to run out and get more oil. So even after changing the spark plugs, the oil, the gas, putting the fuel stabilizer in it, it still would just sit there and rev and go, rawr, rawr, rawr. Here, I'll let you hear it. After changing out the spark plugs, the oil, the gas, putting in uh, gas cleaner and stabilizer, none of that stuff worked. I had to take it in and it was actually a major carburetor problem, so I couldn't figure out how to fix it. What I did do is get this Ego battery powered uh, snow blower, which is awesome. I never have to deal with gas, oil, <laughs> spark plugs, any of that stuff ever again. You just slap a battery in and it goes. I'll actually link it in the description below. You can check me out at all these other alternative platforms if you enjoyed that. And I uh, hope you got some laughs and maybe even learned something about how to fix your own uh, snowblower. Also, don't forget you can check me out the website. If you sign up, you'll actually get notified when I'm, I'm live. And you get access to all kinds of cool exclusive footage. Oh my gosh, the cat's digging nails into me. Oh, why does he want to be a shoulder cat so bad? Ow! <laughs> why, cool cat? Why? Um... Okay, where was I? <laughs> oh, Amazon. Yeah, I really appreciate you guys still shopping on Amazon and using my link. It keeps me alive. Ah, here we go. Cat's loose. Oh, no. <laughs> this is a cat. Yes. <laughs> this is what happens when you film with a cat. But, you know, he'll sit on here for like an hour. I can't get any work done until I, I just film with him. Anyway, uh, thanks so much. I hope you enjoyed that. And check out my channel. Uh, I've got all kinds of interesting stories up. And as always, be nice to your cat.